Silver Joker here. Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys my latest pickups towards my goal. You guys know if you watch my video, you know I have a goal for the end of the year of 250 three nines fine silver ounces, be it bars and rounds, and I want $200 face value in constitutional silver. All right, so today's commentary is going to most assuredly ruffle a few feathers. Some people are going to feel a little uncomfortable with what I'm going to say today, but it needs to be said. I'm not going to call anybody out specifically. I'm not going to talk about any specific channels, but if you watch silver stacking videos here on YouTube, you'll get an idea of the type of channels that I'm referring to. All right, before we get to the meat and potatoes of this video, I think it's important that I kind of share with you guys my motivations for making YouTube videos, why I make YouTube videos, and the purpose I believe for making them for the YouTube stacking community. And so bear with me, we're gonna to get to what I referred to in the beginning of this video, but I think it's important to kind of give you guys some context of why I'm making the comments that I'm making. And what motivated me to do this is, one, I really like what I do. I like sharing the information that I share with you guys on YouTube, I like it a lot. Uh, and so I can't wait to get back to it, but I do have a full-time job. That full-time job allows me some flexibility to make YouTube videos. And if you guys watch my channel at all, you know that my videos contain a lot of transitions. There's a lot of information, a lot of visuals. Those things take time and effort to put together. But I do that because I want my videos to be interesting. But besides me talking and showing you guys some of my silver, I really want to illustrate to you guys visually some of the points that I make. And so that's why I put a lot of visuals, a lot of time and effort into making these videos. And it is fun, it is rewarding. Okay, having said that, <laughs> a lot of times the effort that I put into making YouTube videos, a lot of times the views that I get sometimes don't seem to justify the time and effort and energy that I put into creating them. The thing about it is I don't do it for the views. Now, I love to get the views, don't get me wrong, because getting views means that you agree with what I'm saying, you like what I'm saying, you find what I'm saying beneficial enough to view it, to watch it. And so that is important. Getting views, getting subscribers is important, but I'm not ready just yet <laughs> to quit my job and do YouTube videos full time. Then on those videos that I get, like a, just a few thousand, views, I get comments like this one. And I get comments like this one. And so when I start to feel like just the effort that I'm putting into making YouTube videos doesn't justify the interest in my videos, comments like these really changes everything around and motivates me to continue to do it. Now listen, I've talked about this before in other videos. I get approached all the time by companies who want me to say a few words about their product on my channel or to review the next great thing. But honestly, if it's not about helping you guys stack silver more effectively or ways that you can stack silver more economically and products and services that can help you do that, I really don't see the point of talking about it on my channel. Now, I'm not saying that things won't change in the future. I mean, I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot here. I mean, you know, who knows what's going to happen in the future. But right now, I just don't see the point of talking about, you know, mining stocks and, you know, some of the other things that I get approached about talking about on my channel. I mean, I'm not basing anybody out. I'm not putting anybody down. But just for my channel, I don't see the point if it's not ways to help you guys stack physical silver in a economic way. All right, so the next thing I want to say about making YouTube videos for me may ruffle a few feathers, may be a little bit controversial, but keep in mind, I'm not basing anyone out specifically. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, but I could, in an effort to get more views and more subscribers, I could just go full silver pumper. I mean, I could tell you guys that silver is going to be $1,000 an ounce a year from now, $50 an ounce a couple of weeks from now, and you better buy it because we're running out and silver's getting scarce and so on and so forth. I could do that. And I could probably get a few more views and a few more subscribers. I could also go full tilt political. I could choose a side and just let, let it fly. 
You know, I could become one of those channels that just talk about politics and, and the government and all this other kind of stuff. It's usually negative and just let Stack and Silver fade into the background and just have, you know, have my channel be a Silver Stack and Channel in name only. I could do that in an effort to get a few more views, a few more subscribers. But I'm not going to do that because that's not me. Don't get me wrong. Is there a place for that type of commentary? Of course there is but it's just no place for it on the Silver Joker channel. Now that is my personal opinion. I know a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with that, but I'm sharing it with you because it's my opinion. And so I'm sure you have your own opinion. Feel free to share it with me in the, com in the comments, but that's my view on it. And finally, in my effort to share with you guys why I make YouTube videos a little personal, it is the community. This is one of the best communities as far as I'm concerned, on YouTube. It is a niche community right now. Now, stacking silver is not a niche thing, but the making silver stacking YouTube videos is kind of a niche thing. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of clickish. You know, we're in a little click, a little group who for the most part have a genuine passion to stack physical silver and to share stacking information, our stacking experiences with you guys. And I think that's gonna be important in the future. I think that pretty soon people are gonna flock to uh, YouTube because they're gonna be looking for information on stacking physical silver, physical metals. And we're gonna have a plethora of information here to offer them. I think people are going to uh, switch over from this fiat currency. And I think they're gonna be looking for information for that. And so that's what motivates me to be as accurate uh, as I can with the information that I present, to be as forthcoming and as honest with what I present as I possibly can, because I want it to live on. I want people to have this as a resource as they look for information about stacking physical silver. And so I'm very keen on making sure that everything I present is researchable and beneficial if a person wants to start stacking physical silver. And channels like T the Silver Stacker, Legacy Stacker, Silver Britches, which sometimes I don't agree with everything Silver Britches says, but his information is on point and he's had a genuine desire to present information that's gonna help people. And there's a lot of channels like that. Uh, I'm subscribed to over 300 YouTube channels. My channels are right there. If you wanna go check and see who I'm subscribed to, I don't hide it. You know, the, the stackers that make YouTube videos, I feel honored to be a part of that group. There's a lot of people in this Silver Stack community that are very passionate about helping you benefit yourself with stacking physical silver. You know, and many of them do it in very interesting, very entertaining ways, but they still have this core motivation to help you stack physical silver in a way that's beneficial for you. And I just feel the need to leave you guys with this. Physical silver is not for everyone. It's not for everyone. You have to really understand what physical silver is meant to do for you really before you get into it. For me, if it's not something that I can leave for a long period of time and forget about it, then it's really not for you. You can't use physical silver as an ATM or a checking account. You're going to lose out on that because when you buy physical silver at a certain price, when you go to sell it back right after you buy it, then it's probably gonna be at a loss. You have to hold it. You have to let it grow gradually as the economy grows and inflation adds to how much it costs to produce that ounce of silver. You have to be patient under normal circumstances to benefit from that process, that slow process. It takes a while. That's my personal opinion. I'm not a financial expert. That is what my plans are. That is what my strategy is with stacking physical silver. So I want to share that with you, but you have to do your own thing. So I'm just going to tell you, don't go into stacking physical silver lightly because you will lose out if you're not disciplined enough to leave it and let it sit and let it gradually grow and benefit you. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Let's just keep the silver train rolling. Keep stacking. Peace.